Let's talk about prosperity or wealth, however you want to look at it. You can never create prosperity by talking or thinking about your lack of money. This is wasted thinking and cannot bring you abundance. Dwelling on lack only creates more lack. Poverty thinking brings more poverty, and gratitude thinking brings abundance. There are a few affirmations and attitudes that are guaranteed to keep prosperity beyond reach. Resenting other people for the amount of money they may have just puts up a wall between you and your own flow. Open your consciousness to new ideas about money, and it will be yours. There is never enough money. Now that is a terrible affirmation to use. Also the one, money goes out faster than it comes in. This is poverty thinking of the worst kind. The universe can only respond to what you believe about yourself and about life. Examine whatever negative thoughts you have about money and then decide to release them and let them go. They have not served you well in the past and will not serve you well in the future. You can buy an occasional lottery ticket for fun, but do not put a lot of attention into winning the lottery and think it will solve your problems. This is scarcity thinking or poverty thinking and cannot bring lasting good into your life. Winning the lottery seldom brings positive changes into anyone's life. In fact, within two years, most lottery winners have lost almost all their winnings, have nothing to show for it, and are often worse off financially than before. If you think that winning the lottery will solve all of your problems, you are greatly mistaken because it doesn't involve changing consciousness. In effect, you're saying to the universe, I don't deserve to have good in my life except by a fluke chance. If you would only change your consciousness, your thinking, to allow the abundance of the universe to flow through your experience, you could have all the things you think the lottery can bring you. And you'd be able to keep them because they would be yours by right of consciousness. Affirming, declaring, deserving, and allowing are the steps to demonstrating riches far greater than you could ever win in a lottery. Another thing that can keep you from prospering is being dishonest. Whatever you give out in life comes back to you, always. And if you take from life, then life will take from you. It is that simple. You may feel that you don't steal, but are you counting the paper clips and stamps you may take from the office? Or are you a person who steals time or robs others of respect or perhaps steals relationships? All these things count and are a way of saying to the universe, I don't really deserve the good in life. I have to sneak around and take it. So become aware of the beliefs that may be blocking the flow of money in your life and then change those beliefs and begin to create new abundant thinking. Even if no one else in your family has done this, you can open your mind to the concept of money flowing into your life. If we want to prosper, then we must use prosperity thinking. I have two prosperity affirmations I've used for many years, and they work well for me. They'll also work for you. One, my income is constantly increasing. And two, I prosper wherever I turn. I had very little money when I started using them, but consistent practice has made them come true for me. You know, for a long time, I've believed that business is a place where we bless and prosper each other. I've never understood the concept of cutthroat business, where you try to cheat and put one over on the other person. That doesn't sound like a joyous way to live. There is so much abundance in this world if we would but just share it. At Hay House, my publishing firm, we have always been honest, honorable, we live up to our word, we do our work well, and treat others with respect and generosity. When you live that way, it is impossible to keep the money away. The universe rewards you at every possible turn. 
Today, we have a fabulous reputation in the publishing world and so much business that we are turning it away. We do not want to grow so big that we lose the personal touch. Now, if I, an abused child who did not finish high school, can do it, so can you. Once a day, stand with your arms open wide and say with joy, I am open and receptive to all the good and abundance in the universe, and thank you, life. Life will hear you and respond. Affirmations for wealth. If you want to bring in the bucks, then use these affirmations with feeling and meaning. I am a magnet for money. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. Wherever it is that I work, I am deeply appreciated and well compensated. I live in a loving, abundant, harmonious universe, and I am grateful. I am now willing to be open to the unlimited prosperity that exists everywhere. Life supplies all my needs in great abundance. I trust life. The law of attraction brings only good into my life. I move from poverty thinking to prosperity thinking, and my finances reflect this change. I express gratitude for all the good in my life. Each day brings wonderful new surprises. I pay my bills with love, and I rejoice as I write out each check. Abundance flows freely through me. I deserve the best, and I accept the best now. I release all resistance to money and I now allow it to flow joyously into my life. My good comes from everywhere and everyone. Creativity. You can never express yourself creatively by talking or thinking about what a klutz you are. If you say, I have no creativity, then that is an affirmation that will be true for you for as long as you continue to use it. There is an innate creativity flowing in all of us, and if we let it out, it will surprise and delight us. We are all tapped into the creative flow of energy in the universe. Some of us express ourselves more creatively than others, but we all can do it. We all create our lives every day. Each of us has unique talents and abilities. Unfortunately, too many of us had well-meaning adults stifle that creativity when we were children. I had a teacher who told me I couldn't dance because I was too tall, and a friend was told he couldn't draw because he drew the wrong tree. It's all so silly. But we were obedient children and believed the messages. But now you can go beyond them. Another false assumption is that you must be an artist to be creative. That is one form of creativity, and there are so many more. You are creating every moment of your life from the most common, ordinary creations of new cells in your body, from choosing your emotional responses to your present job, to your bank account, to your relationships with friends, and to your very attitudes about yourself. It's all creativity. Also, you could be a really good bed maker. You could cook delicious food. You could do your job creatively. You could be creative in the garden. Or you could be creative in the ways that you are kind to others. These are a few of the millions of ways of expressing yourself creatively. No matter how you choose to express yourself creatively, you want to have satisfaction and to be deeply fulfilled by all that you do. If you will allow it, you are divinely guided by spirit at all times. Know that spirit makes no mistakes. When there is a strong desire within you to express or create something, know that feeling is divine discontent. Our longing is our calling. No matter what it is, 
If we go with it, we will be guided, guarded, and assured of success. When a purpose or a path is laid before us, we have a choice to trust and go with it or remain stuck in the fear. Trusting the perfection which resides within you is the key. I know it can be frightening. Everybody is afraid of something, but we can do it anyway. Remember, the universe loves you and wants you to succeed at everything you do. You are expressing yourself creatively every moment of the day. In fact, expressing yourself creatively is the only thing you do. You are being you in your own unique way, all the time. Knowing that, you can now release any mental beliefs that you are not creative and go for each and every project that comes to mind. And never think you're too old for anything. My own life did not begin to have meaning until I was in my mid-40s when I started teaching. At 50, I began my publishing company on a very small scale. At 55, I ventured into the world of computers, taking classes and overcoming the fear of them. At 60, I had my first garden and have become an avid organic gardener who grows her own food. At 70, I entered a children's art class. And also in my 70s, I totally changed my handwriting. I became inspired by Vimala Rogers, who wrote, Your Handwriting Can Change Your Life. At 75, I graduated to an adult's art class and have started to sell my paintings. My current art teacher wants me to get involved with sculpture next. And at the same time, I took up yoga, and my body is making positive changes. A few months ago, at 76, I decided to stretch myself in areas that scared me, and I took up ballroom dancing. Now I'm taking several classes a week, and I'm fulfilling my childhood dream of learning to dance. I love to learn things I have not experienced. Who knows what I'll do in the future? But I know I will be doing my affirmations and expressing new creativity until the day I leave the planet. So if there's a particular project you want to do, or if you just want to be more creative in general, then you can use some of these affirmations and use them joyously as you release your creativity in a million and one different projects. Positive Affirmations for Expressing Creativity. I release all resistance to expressing my creativity fully. I am always in touch with my creative source. I feel good expressing myself in all sorts of creative ways. I am a clear thinker and I express myself with ease. I am learning to be more creative every day. My potential is unlimited. I am discovering talents I did not know I had. My innate creativity surprises and delights me. My talents are in demand, and my unique gifts are appreciated by those around me. I am a joyous, creative expression of life. Ideas come to me easily and effortlessly. <laughs> 